But the guys are like, our our food lines here are like the. Um, so as you guys get out here, it just heats up. So most of us are still like double ba double layered. There's a definite uh, change in the temperature. Yeah, typically, like yeah, you're gonna go to the jet line. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Right. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
moving them, dude. Three, copy, break. Police one, Aviana, can I have you in route two, golf five for a rep scene? Sergeant Ray J. I'm Colonel Les Houck, the commander of the 31st Operations Group here at Aviano Air Base in Italy. The relationship with our Italian partners in the nation of Italy has been one of the most important thing for us as we've, as we've dealt with this crisis. Uh, it's not only from the base perspective because we work hand in hand with them, but it's from the community perspective also. And that reaches the highest levels of their government and our government here in Italy at the ambassador's level. Uh, in those cases, uh, we've learned from the Italians on how to better our operations. Uh, they proposed to us a schedule that would take basically a team one and then a team two and those teams would never interact so we would always have somebody healthy if somebody was to get unhealthy on one of those teams and they had become in contact so we've taken the concept from the italians on how they've worked this in the tower and we've actually brought it to our fighter squadrons and we brought it to our hh60 squadrons squadron we brought it to our rescue squadron with our pararescue folks and then over here to our other side we've brought it to our air control squadron so we, have, we are able in all aspects, if somebody does come down with the coronavirus, to continue on uh, the mission. History has proven, and we've seen this multiple times in our past, that adversaries look for weaknesses. I would say that anybody that thinks there's any weakness with our mission readiness here is very wrong. We have adapted our training, uh, much like we've done with our children, to teach them online, to continue on with our mission readiness and our training. Although we were supposed to be this week with our F-16s in Morocco doing training, we've transitioned that training here locally. We were supposed to also have our HH-60s in Slovenia on one of their ranges working with um, some of their fixed-wing aircraft. We've transitioned that training here working with our F-16s. So it's been a lot of work by the team to make that happen. It's been a lot of rescheduling, it's been a lot of reconfiguring aircraft, and a lot of coordination with our Italian partners to change our airspace times. But all that is continuing to make us razor sharp with our mission readiness. We're continuing the mission here at Aviano. And any adversary that might think that the COVID-19 virus has got us down and doesn't have us training is absolutely wrong. Our airmen here are razor sharp focused and ready to deter and defeat if required any aggressor. Drive on Aviano Air Base, you see mission airmen family. We don't get to the mission at the top of that list without the two underneath them as the bedrock, particularly the families. Here at Aviano, we have families living in the local communities all over the place. And the support from the Italians in this time of need has been incredible. The story yesterday of a, a member who we have in our wing that was tested positive for the virus was brought up about how their Italian neighbors brought them food, left it on the door so they, they would include the social distancing but this Italian neighbor was an elderly gentleman, so he knew that he was at risk by just going into that situation, but he brought them food. And this was a situation that I've heard more and more of. We're coming together as a community. Uh, for those families that are in those situations, we have spouses whose husbands, whose wives are not with them. Their kids are now home doing homeschool because we've transitioned amazingly quickly to online schooling. So through that transition, I can't stress enough how important it has been 
to be together as one team and one fight.